Okay, folks, so the epic security news of 2010 continues to be Aurora, a bunch of targeted malware attacks against Google, Adobe, and possibly dozens of other companies. Initially, experts assumed that a PDF exploit had been used, and even our own Graham Cluley speculated that this might be the case. Oops, sorry about that. But it turns out to have been an exploit against Internet Explorer. That was unfortunate because when the news broke, the PDF vulnerability was already patched, but the vulnerability in IE was not. Now, the Aurora exploit relies on a use-after-free bug, the sort of problem which usually just causes the offending program to explode. But the exploit uses JavaScript to wangle control out of the browser as it crashes. The exploit has all the usual JavaScript tricks. There's a heap spray of NOPS LEDs, that's a sort of machine code cushion into which the browser can crash. At the end of each NOPS LED, some shell code, that's the actual malicious binary code which the hacker wants to execute. And finally, a cunning bit which uses JavaScript events to trick the browser into misusing memory in the first place. So let's go into the lab and see the exploit in action. We'll go to our test server and I'm going to edit my shell code. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just change that shell code so that it contains a couple of debug breakpoints and now I'm adding some human readable text so that if we do crash we can visually confirm that it was into our shell code. Right, now we can try out the actual exploit. So I'll load up Explorer and I'm going to put that under debugger control so I'm attaching Ollie debug to it. And of course the reason for doing that is our shell code includes debug breakpoints. So if the shell code, if the exploit actually works, we'll trap back into the debugger. So we give control back to IE, go to IE. Now I can visit the malicious site. And remember, this is in the lab, in safety. Don't try this at home, folks. Okay, here we go. We fetch the page. Now the exploit then relies on fetching an image file. And bang, look at that address, COEO026. That smells like the heap to me. So it looks as though we have definitely got control back. We'll look at the that region of memory in ASCII and look, warhead, warhead, warhead. So that visually confirms that it really is us that has control. Look at the bottom right. You'll see that we've execution has come into our shell code from mshtml.dll. So watch for a patch at least to that file when Microsoft's update comes out. By the way, that was IE6, which I just pwned. Now, to reduce the drama a little, I haven't seen this particular exploit work against later versions of IE, and Received Wisdom says that it does not, even though Microsoft have confirmed that both IE7 and 8 contain the vulnerable code. So I'm not suggesting that you give up on security and go to the beach, but I do think you can stand down from Red Alert. Let me finish up by answering a question that everyone seems to be asking, namely, since this is an exploit, can an antivirus program protect me? And the answer is that a good antivirus can do exactly that. We may still call it an antivirus for the sake of simplicity, but that doesn't stop it preventing threats with all sorts of other names. And those threats include exploits, shellcode, trojans, adware, buffer overflow, spyware, data stealers, ratware, ransomware, and plenty more besides. So folks, there you have it. So much for Aurora, being there, done that. Until next time, stay secure.